What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So let's head on out. We already saw a sign that led us to God's Acre, so follow that. See what's out there. Maybe mess some stuff up with our golden rifle. I feel like a gold rifle wouldn't be very functional. I feel like the, uh, the heat Thoughts point for Caleb? gold. You first, young man. Haunted. To the point of madness. Ruth and Alexander, maybe? Maybe. But something feels off. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. Oh, there's like a certain temp where, uh, the barrel wouldn't hold up. I feel like gold would not be a good temp. I remember what, like, the melting... Let me see. Barrels are usually... They used to be made out of iron. Let me see. Melting point of gold. So gold melts at 1948 Fahrenheit. Melting point of iron, 2800 Fahrenheit. Yeah, so... The gold would probably break down faster. I mean, it's still a hot temperature, but... Just wouldn't wouldn't hold up long term. It's also a rarer mineral. God's acre. God's acre. Uh, let's go see what's up this little side thing. I was supposed to come up here actually. Don't have eyes on it. It's a shortcut for later. I think I went this way because it looked like a side path, and I think this is actually where I'm supposed to end up going to to get up there. Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth, and whatever got Kate up acting so strange. First, let's gather the raw materials that I need and shoot down that bridge so I can cross back. Why do I get the feeling that we are sick ducks? Oh shit. To me. Ah, God, that should totally get over there. Oh, this ledge is obnoxious. Tight spot to fight a bunch of ghosts. Get that later. Playing too much Suicide Squad. Keep hitting, accidentally hitting X to get a reload off. Damn. They brought more friends. Get the hell out of there. Watch out. Spectre position. God, God damn.
Yeah, it's gonna... Oh, man. I, I think, playstyle-wise, I think I prefer the, uh, the heavy playstyle that I was doing before. I think that was, was more engaging. But the damage we are doing? I think I see a patella. Lovely. Like, dude, there's... We are hitting insane damage with the rifle, so... I mean, until I find a weapon that has some, some absolutely insane perk on it... I think we are a, uh, a rifle player. Because that's... I mean, I figured upgrading it all the way was gonna make it insane, but... That, plus the fact that it's... Oh, if it's wounded, you do double damage. Like, that's nutty. I was like, shoot once, and now kill them. Which would probably make more sense for me to do, like, dodge into him, hit him with a, uh, an R1, and then pull out the rifle and blast them. Man, I can't believe I was so low on crisp moss, and now I'm just finding it in, like, bushels of six. Ruth Watson. There's another grave beneath it. Undertakers did this, they should find other work. I doubt there's a job on earth that suits whatever did this. Yeah, I think our cobbler dug up a body. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did. And he's at the top of my list. Well, he made quite the mess. Decoys to distract wayward specters to keep them away from the Watson plot. I think rudimentary Someone's had a little training Perhaps the decoys make sure the way follow the path don't get too close I try This way, more of them. Yeah. That's what I was talking about when I said don't get too close. But I gotta investigate it, don't I? It's not. That's actually kind of nasty. Just hit him with the blunt and then fire on him. One decoy here, one decoy here. No, not locked. Nice. What in God's green hell is this? Fight now. Talk later. I 
Hang on, do I have my, uh... Ooh, that's gonna smack me, I think. I do have it. Don't just stand there. Move. I'm trying, trying, trying. Ooh, this hurt. Did we miss a few? Physical to spectral, they do that. There's more of them. Looks like you're dealing, dealing more damage now, though. When I don't fucking whiff. Crows answer its call. God damn it. Is that new brooch? Outburst area of effect size is increased by 70%. That's kind of cool. I mean, I'll take that for the stats alone. But 70% increase on the AoE? I could probably, uh... I, could probably, I can vibe with that. In these lands, what a surprise indeed. Shrines now? With bones? Like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. Part of the story is waiting to be revealed. Oh, there, fella. You're nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also shoddy. It's very poor work. Ritual site. A missing parchment. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need. I think I came from this way and dropped down. I came from this way? I got the chest and I crawled through. like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis the ritual of that ritual the one that brings someone back that ritual yes that ritual True self. Oh, shite. Oh, hark for echoes. Rip. Ah, 
A drop may hide the rain. As flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. So he's been possessed. His brother possessed him probably. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. Is he still in there too? He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. Man. It's a three way I wouldn't want to be a part of. Get it? Because, like, all three are inside of him. Yes. Never mind. A... Some jokes just don't land. Caleb, ye were a naughty boy. You took your wife's bones and mixed them with your brother's by mistake, trying to bring her back. And now you're hellbound. You likely caused the fire and done fucked up in the process. I banish ye and take your soul to help bring me beloved back from the dead. What is luck in here? Time to work, Banisher. Found the chest. I've only found one of those little guys though. Thus maybe it only needs one? Maybe it only needs one? This is cast, no doubt. Nope. Need three, and I have found one. I think this game could really benefit from, like, a leap. You know? Just something that lets me jump down. Like that fight earlier we were in, where I couldn't even, like, manifest to the target. I had to, like, sprint around those guys and get off the ledge. There's two. Man, the twos, the twos bother me, because then it's like, knowing I'm just missing one thing from being able to finish the cursed chest, like... It's here, I don't know where, but I know it's here somewhere. It's gonna bother me, because we've done, I think, a pretty good job of exploring this, unless it's like, over here, but that's a whole new zone. Oh well.
should argue that the ritual will work. Caleb's work was poor. Your work will be good. Cold feet? No. Not now, not ever. But the ritual shall work, and all shall be well. I promise. But don't we need her body? Which I guess her body would just be in the church still, presumably, because town fell to corruption. I'm assuming they couldn't. They, they, I doubt they retrieved it. But then that begs the question of like, isn't it just going to be like rotted? She's going to come back as just like a corpse and be like, I can't talk. I don't have my tongue. So. Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come shite off. We've been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah. Can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? There's something else you should know, if you don't know it already. I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavors. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. I understand your anger, more so your desire. But what of Ruth? Did you consider what she wanted? Caleb stole a life from me, but he also stole Ruth's voice. She shrank beneath him. Of course she wanted a second chance at life. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. My okay, guy's like, he Caleb silenced her voice, and then I'm like, can I speak with her? No, she can't. Caleb was no saint, but this is hellish grim. Does he deserve it? Aye, he does. And it's not like I killed him. He's alive in here somewhere. Watching me ruin his name. He can hear me now. Destroying his reputation. As I had to hear him destroy mine when he painted me a fornicator. How oh, nice. He took our love. Ruth and mine, and killed it. Now our love's reborn, and he can do naught but sit and watch. Caleb was a cat. Shite on him. Let him suffer. But this guy brings a whole new meaning to the word self-love. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Nothing Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. I can't find that angle with that. It's just plain wrong. Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost tie, we can talk to her. Oh, 
Well, hang on. There was that stuff in the back, but I think that was just pieces of the house. I think there's a, a proper burned down house somewhere that I need to I need to find somewhere in this village. Bless you. This one looks pretty burned down. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. The ghost wards feel far away from me. I'm not sure who to go with for this one. Like, first instinct was Caleb's a dick, but... His brother's kind of a dick, too. The only one I feel bad about is Ruth. There's a lot of debris. Imagine you're dead and you get resurrected to live inside the body of your ex-husband with the other brother that loved you. Just... It is just a sloppy mess of a three-way going on in there. This work shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learned a little about Ruth. Something's concealed. Something's nearby. Where is it? Ruth's heart binds them like a bushel of rotting corn. You! What do you have there? Stop right there, you rank rump! Whatever you found, it ain't yours! You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You! A ghost went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stow your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Pock off and die. I'm in charge here. No. Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. 
We're here to help. Oh, I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. Her heart! Give it back! Show yourself and join me now. No more does he silence me. We may speak. Help me, please. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? <sighs> it tore me in two. I loved Alexander. But I deserved to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. I thought I'd married the better brother. But I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. <sighs> and yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. How did Caleb treat you? With adoration. I was an idol, worshipped, yet unloved. He was the sculptor and I was the statue, smiling down, unmoving from my pedestal with nothing to say. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Thing about Caleb, he was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. <clears throat> Nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual. I should have known. Always watch out for the quiet ones. After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay! Please, Ruth, let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. Send Alexander. Banish Alexander. Or blame Caleb. I mean, I kind of want to banish Alex. Like, yeah, dude lied, but like, you fucking stole his body, bro. At the same time, this helps Santaya and Caleb. I mean, bro, come on. It it was a pretty bad lie, and then you didn't make a good husband, and then you try to do some half shot ritual. Uh, the things I do for Antea. Caleb Watson, your past saving. We can but grant you the mercy of oblivion. But, but what about me? What about Ruth? Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you.
Can I get both brothers here? Like a two for one deal? Love and hate is thin and easily crossed, especially between brothers. None are better placed to wound than your own blood. That's a pretty messed up one. That was something. Don't take it to heart. Their choices are not your business. Our choices are my business. And the consequences too. Our love story shall have a better ending. I shall be as I was before. As if I'd never gone away. I yeah. sure hope so. I hear you. Because I'm starting to think not going to happen. Let's see what Lamy Haskell has to say about raising spirits from the dead. Alright, let's wrap things up. I want to level up, but we'll go talk to Lamy in the next part, and I'll catch you then.